Hey everyone, it's Anthony here. Hey, I'm about four hours removed from uh, waking up from uh, surgery on my deviated septum and also uh, um, surgery to repair and open up some of the nasal passages in my nose. And as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm at home now, uh, still bleeding from my nose. So they got this gauze uh, that I'm supposed to keep changing every so often whenever it gets saturated. Um, but it seems like it's slowed down. Some of the ble bleeding isn't as bad as it was. So all in all, uh, not feeling a lot of pain as a result. A uh, bit of a headache. Uh, the worst the worst thing right now is just uh, just feeling so congested because they've got a, they got splints up both sides of my my nose they've got a lot of gauze and other things up there so um that's the most uncomfortable thing is just uh you know having having the ability not to get any air up through my nasal passages but i don't really feel any pain other than a little bit of a headache and uh they've given me some uh some medicine to deal with the pain i've got some hydro codone uh tylenol basically and they've also put me on antibiotics, which I'm going to start tonight, amoxicillin, for 10 days. So, all in all, uh, like I said, not a lot of pain at this point. It is a little disgusting seeing all this blood, and uh, but nothing, you know, certain nothing that's uh, uh, making me wish I did elect to have this surgery done. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. We'll see when the bleeding stops. Um, I'll provide an update later. Um, if, if there's any change, probably tomorrow, if not later tonight. But uh, like I said, so far, not not so much pain. I wouldn't recommend doing this if if uh, you have chronic sinusitis like I do, uh, or you know, basically you're stuffed up all the time, allergic to everything, and have a hard time breathing uh, on your own. And uh, hopefully, this will allow me once this clears up to. Uh, stop having to take decongestants twice a day, which is not good for your heart. And also I've been taking Allegra for years. I've been on uh, some kind of allergy medicine for probably 20 to 25 years. Also doing steroid sprays and saline sprays and nasal crom. And I'm not sure whether I'll be able to uh, get off of those, you know, eventually once this heals up, but uh, at least uh, hope, hopefully I'll at least be uh, less congested and can at least breathe through my nose. But that's not the case right now, so just want to give you an update. Again, this is the day of the surgery. I had, uh, I went in around six o'clock this morning, um, and uh, took me. I had to sit around for about an hour and a half. They, I guess, they pushed my surgery time back, and uh, so I, I went in to the surgery room, the ER room, around eight thirty after sitting there in the waiting room for an hour and a half or so, and. Uh, but I, I woke up sometime around 10 to 10.30, I think it was, and in the recovery room, and uh, probably spent 45 minutes in the recovery room, maybe an hour, uh, just kind of gathering my senses. Uh, like I said, not a lot of pain. I did get a little, little painkiller there, but uh, pretty much bundled everything up, and uh, my son drove me home, and uh, so I've been just relaxing at home now uh, for the last probably three hours or so. So anyway, that's it. Feel free to uh, comment if you have any questions. Uh, but for those considering this, uh, at least at this point, I'm not uh, having any regrets. Um, just waiting, waiting for the process to kind of play itself out, and we'll see where it goes from there. All right, we'll see you later.